Jared Leto drops first teaser for Tron Ares. This story comes to us from Slade Hale over at Bounding Into Comics. Today, we're unraveling the latest chapter in the Tron saga and delving into the upcoming release of Tron Ares. But before we get excited about the return of this iconic franchise, let's take a moment to remember the ever-present influence of Disney's agenda and the enigmatic nature of Jared Leto. Tron, a groundbreaking film from 1982, left an indelible mark on cinema with its groundbreaking use of computer-generated sequences and special effects. However, its 2010 follow-up failed to light up box offices as expected. However, after 14 long years, a new Tron film is on the horizon, titled Tron Ares, starring Jared Leto. Jared Leto is not just an actor in this installment, but also listed as a producer, and he seems to be genuinely fond of the franchise. However, given Leto's track record, one can't help but wonder if his involvement will bring the same level of unpredictability and chaos that he injected into the Suicide Squad set with his notorious practical jokes. Let's hope Leto's antics don't overshadow the film's potential, and that Tron Ares doesn't become a playground for his particular brand of humor. Now, let's shift our focus to the giant shadow looming over Tron Ares. Disney. The studio's penchant for injecting woke political messaging into every property they touch raises concerns about the creative direction of the film. Will the essence of Tron be lost in a sea of politically charged narratives? You and I both know that. Yeah, absolutely. Disney's recent controversies over streaming on Disney Plus and their push for a certain ideological agenda are causing fans to question whether Tron Ares will stay true to its roots or succumb to the studio's relentless pursuit of political correctness. The film's premise, a flip from the original Tron concept, adds an intriguing layer to the narrative. Transplanting an artificially intelligent program from the digital world into the real one could bring a fresh perspective. However, it raises concerns about whether this shift will dominate the storyline and dilute the essence of the Tron franchise itself. You know, all the glowy parts and the computer things and the dun-dun-dun-dun-dun, you know, that kind of stuff. The concept isn't groundbreaking, though, considering the events at the end of Tron Legacy. But will it add value to the Tron universe, or will it prove to be another misguided attempt at reinventing the light bike? Tron Ares is set to debut in 2025 after facing setbacks, including the SAG-AFTRA strikes of 2023. The prolonged gap between the franchise entries might have dampened fan enthusiasm as well. Yet... With the potential controversies surrounding Disney and Lido, the question remains, will Tron Ares live up to the expectations of its dedicated fan base? No, no, it won't. It will not. Nope, not gonna happen. I can guarantee you that. That is not going to happen. Lots of lights, lots of boom, 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 but that's about it. As we eagerly await the release of Tron Ares, the combination of Disney's influence and Jared Leto's unpredictable nature adds an extra layer of uncertainty to the mix. Will the film stay true to its roots, or will it become a battleground for political ideologies? Yes, yes, it will become a battleground for political ideologies. Until we find out for sure, remember to keep your light cycles charged and your expectations very, very, very low. We'll see you in the next video.